Hello, this is Rabbi Shapira. I would like to try to address a question that we often receive about the authenticity and the importance of uh, rabbinic uh, tradition within our messianic faith. Here we are in the city of Genesau and we need to understand that the Galilee was an important area for the establishment of the Mishnah and the Talmud. People ask me often what it would be like uh, for us as Messianic believers, uh, what should be our demeanor toward the oral tradition. Let's turn for a second to our home to understand how our people used to sit and study. Here is our home. Where people used to sit and study as the Mishnah was established. So when you can imagine here a room, and as you can see around me, there is a beautiful mosaic here. This is an actual room that was discovered with amazing mosaic, where people used to sit here and study. Can you imagine sitting and studying for 17 or 18 or 19 hours a day, dealing with different religious ruling in interpreting the law of Moses? Now people ask me the question often, what it would be like sit and do this all day? And I said, well, this is what Jews do all day today. They sit and they study and they learn. And we as Messianic Jews must respect it. This adherence of laws known in Judaism as halakha. Halakha literally means a way one should walk out his faith. For instance, we are Reading, reading in Leviticus 23 that we are to observe the Feast of Trumpet, but nobody exactly told us how to, uh, how, to, how to observe the Feast of Trumpets, or in Sukkot we are to build the Sukkah, but nobody tells us in the scripture how we are to build the, the Sukkah. The old tradition came, so we will know how to walk out our faith. Should we accept everything in the old tradition? Not necessarily, especially if it goes against the word of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. However, if those words of our sages do not go against the words of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, we are to, we are to choose to, uh, to adhere to this halakha. The two are not contradictory to one another. Yeshua himself followed the halakha of his time before the halakha was developed fully to what it is today. He was following it himself, and we are too to follow Jewish halacha to the best of our ability as long as we are not violate the word of Yeshua. So I want you to think about this today and not to be so quick to, discard, to, 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 to dismiss Jewish halacha, Jewish tradition, just because merely they, they missed out the Messiah. There is great wisdom and knowledge that we can learn from our sages. May their memory be blessed. I wish you shalom from here, from this house of Midrash. Maybe this will be a year of a Midrash that we study, study and learn diligently how to walk humbly with our Master. Shalom and